<clears throat> well, welcome back to the Pacific East Coast. Uh, when we left, finished off last time, we just dropped off the coal hopper at the quarry and 383 was taking her load off somewhere. So we're going to see where she's going to go. This time we're filming from inside. Got my sound effects running in the background here, so don't be surprised if you hear a few funny sounds. Right, three's passing Churchill through the crossing, probably should toot the horn. A bit late. Past the um, Gujarat at the junction. And here she comes through, he's going to go on the passing track. Passenger trains waiting there for it to go past. So we have a couple of options. Um, one of which would be to go up to two treetops up in the background here, but we don't normally take a uh, box cars or a load of rocks from the quarry. This one would be uh, going back into staging now. I'll just show you a little bit of the staging. You see we've got a yellow signal here, not a green. That's because the next signal around here at staging is flashing yellow. That means a walking face in. Because you never know what's inside that toy. Here comes 383. I'm just going to sneak in behind the background there and go into the staging area. As I mentioned before, staging has got these three LEDs. The two ends and the middle. This one's just gone out because the train has approached this train. <laughs> it is going in. You see a little flicker when the um, gaps between the carriages go. And the aim is to stop it before this light goes out. This light is operated by this photo sensor here. So I've got a rough idea because I can see the back end. The staging holds the four carriage train. And uh, as we get up to the end here, I'll just drop my controller. As we get up near the end, if this is invisible, I have to sort of guess by the lights. So we're going to drop down. Two, one. What I'm watching for is this light to come on here to say the back of the train is tucked in. As soon as that comes on, I'll stop the train. Oh, that's the gap between carriages. Okay, it's on now. I'll stop the train. And he hasn't turned this light off yet, so he's tucked in there somewhere. We can see him. There you can't see. I'll just creep forward a little bit because I'm not sure whether that's a gap between carriages or not. Let me watch here. Okay, it's creeping forward. At the moment with some of the cement wall missing, I can tell. I'm in. This light's on. That one's off. That one's on. The train is tucked away in there. And then we're ready for the next scenario. Just thought while we're waiting, I'll show you the main control panel here. So this end, end here is the junction. This is the bit where we just came around. So the platform is here, a couple of sidings here. Up here is the three sidings for the good yard. You can see the road up to the turntable. 
and this is the branch line here going up and that zigzags back up to the treetops over there you can see that line comes off the end, the furthermost one comes around the corner up a fairly steep hill and you've got a little logging train he must be on his way back and he comes around here jumps into this area here the points change and then he heads off back up here past the ocean views, past the lighthouse and all the way back over the bridge to a small two track timber yard here we are back at the front of the layout and this time we have a very special train this is the inspection train the owner of the railway is um, on the back of this train very special it's not often we see this train on the layout I'm surprised they put a steam engine pulling the two carriages this one's an express train it won't be stopping it just goes round and explores the whole layout obviously there's a um, another train coming soon because there's a lot of people on the platform here there he goes let's get down to about one of got to improve the contacts on the two special cars Oscar and Pika that are in the back you see there's people in there they're well lit with fluoro lights and oh my gosh who is that on the back who's that with Alan Jones doesn't look like that oh dear don't tell anybody <laughs> so this is a um, my second passenger train on the way out disappear in the distance probably go back and, oh no he's not going back in the stage in right now but that's where he usually goes just to the lap I'll just pull him up at treetops again not treetops Churchill <laughs> don't know the names of home stations Okay, our next train will be a freight train coming out of staging. Um, you can see the two green lights and the yellow light in the middle is off, which means there's a train in there. I'll blow the whistle. Yep, that's the right one. And yeah, we'll pull him out. You can see the signal, a bit hard to see, but the signal on the right there is red. Well, it comes out, so you know, the opposing move is also around. This one seems like a bit of a an old rust bucket. It's got a nice smooth beat. When I put the decoder in this one, it's a sound decoder. The uh, headlight blue bulb. That's a very intricate move to try and get the headlight back in. And this train's got a red signal, he's stopping here. Very cautious driver. Who's he going to fit? He's going to fit in here. pull right up to the signal bit further still not clear in the back here and there we go okay 
Okay, what's going to happen next? Now, just looking at the schedule, it looks like Noel number 27 has got to go into the loco depot and 210 will be dismantling its train. So we'll get that underway, I guess. Uncoupled. Helps if I'm driving the right engine. Very cool. 27. That's better. Now with a bit of luck our turntable will work and we can back 27 which is a Maryland and Pennsylvania loco into its track here. Okay, let's put it away and then we're going to look at this one. The old 210 is going to dismantle this train. Now, 210 has a bit of work to do. It's going to come and get these two flat cars and put them in where it's sitting. The loaded coal train has to go over where those two box cars are or just behind them, so they have to come out. So let's see how he goes. Here he comes. The light isn't really blinking. It's just the camera picks up the flashing light on it.
to creep in slowly today. Okay, now he's going to pull out those three. Just while he's coming back, I'm going to turn off the lights in the caboose. They're flickering a bit anyhow. the young couple here the magnetic uncoupling ring under here let's see if we can not couple what need the skewer whoops not two skewers just one Push those back up into the siding. And just leave them there. Yeah, we've got to cross the main line, but um I think there's a passenger train due sometime soon. Can we just wait here? Yes, I just saw the signal go green. So, just debating now. We've got a bit of a problem. Because we've got those two wagons, boxcars in the way, we've only got room for one or two here because of the wagons in there. So I'm not sure what we're going to be able to do here. Hmm, maybe we should just go in and get those two out first. I think that's probably a good idea. Only trouble is now, I think I've heard that passenger train is leaving Churchill. Why have they got a red light? Oh, it's green now.
I think I can hear the fireman shoveling in a bit of coal. Mm, definitely. Yep, they're ready to go. That's the end of him. That was a bit of excitement. As they say, there's no, nothing more lonely than a empty station, but people at the station must have been wanting to go the other way. We'll have to wait and see.